So, at this point what we've done, I've shown you how to get the data in your Excel spreadsheets, format it, and then throw it into some tables in SQL Server. Now you might ask, I'm glad I got my data in the SQL Server tables, but what do we do with it? Well, that's a great question, and I'm about to show you. So, first thing we can do, and I think this is one of the coolest things, you can have your tables, and this is just some of my tables that I had. You can come over to your database diagrams and say it comes time to document this. Well, you can right click on database diagrams and say, hey, I want to create a new database diagram. And here's the beautiful thing. I can click on all my tables and just click add. I want to add every one of them and it's going to add those. And then what it's going to do is based on the relations and associations I gave it in the database, it's going to create me a database diagram. And once again, this is just one for mine. Uh, I don't want to save it, but that's a quick way if you want to visualize your database and already have your stuff in there. That's a great reference tool you can use when you're building your queries. And speaking of building queries, that's something I want to do. So I've got my 501 database selected just because I've got multiple tables. We could, we could play around with a sandbox, but we've only got one table. It's not fun to build a query with just one table. So I'm going to click on my 501 and click New Query and right now it brings up my blank window we can sit here and type it in like we did before all from owner and execute that and yeah we get you know however many rows but what we want to do is we want to build more specific queries with filters and spanning multiple tables that have branches well good thing SQL Server gave us an easy way to visualize this so I'm gonna right click on this query window right here and I'm going to say design query in editor. And so now what I have is a way to visually design these queries. And so say I want employee branch and property. I'm going to use these three tables and I'm just going to kind of rearrange these so I can better visualize them. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to choose what we want and build a query much faster. So say I want the street address of all properties assigned to the Aniston branch. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the street number and in order to get the branch name I've got to go to all the way back to this branch table, so that's why I've included this employee table. So I click the fields I want, I just check street, and say I, I want all of it. I want street, city, state, and zip. I just check all of the fields that I want, and then I want the branch name that it's in. I want to output the branch name, but I only want in the ones in the Aniston branch. So I'm going to apply a filter. So I'm going to right click on this, and I'm just going to say like. Aniston and push enter. And what that's going to do is you see I've got this little filter icon right here and uh, it's filtering on branch name because that's where I applied the filter and notice it gave me a little where clause generated right here and notice it already generated all my join statements all my select from what I gave it up here and you can add additional filters just by clicking here this or statement it would be an additional filter if I wanted Aniston or Birmingham, I could say like Birmingham. And that's going to throw another or in there. And so basically, you can come in here and add filters to whatever fields you want. You don't have to display fields. If I just wanted to display the street, city, state, and zip, but I didn't actually want it to say the branch, all I have to do is uncheck output. But notice my filter is still on there. So it's just going to give me the ones in Aniston or Birmingham, but it won't actually output the branch name. But in our case, I'm going to go ahead and output it just to show you it works. And I'm going to click OK. Right there, it's generated my statement. I'm going to click F5. Wow. I don't know where from owner came from. Ah, uh, I put that smack dab in the middle of that other statement I already had. So remember, I had select all from owner was my previous statement well I had my cursor sitting in the middle of select all from owner 
and it dropped my new statement right smack in the middle of select all from owner. So this is the actual query my query designer came up with, and so I'm going to push F5 to execute that. And notice I have the street, city, state, and zip of the Aniston branch just like I wanted in my query. So through this, it gives us a way to, to build queries very quickly. And, and there's a million things you can do with it. There's a lot of tools. That's just a brief intro to it. Um, read up on it online if you want to know how to do some of the more advanced stuff. And personally, I found some of the more advanced stuff like unions and outer joins, I found it easier just to uh, build those myself. But for basic statements where you want data spread, especially across several different tables, where uh, joining might become a hassle. Um, it's a great editor, it's a great way to do it really quick. So that's just an intro to the editor and how to build your queries from your tables once you've input all your data.